Hi everyone, it's me, Carlos. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really hope that you guys had a wonderful New Year's Eve and going into 2021 on a positive note. Positive energy leads to positive outcomes. At least that's how I'm going to look at it. Anyways, you guys, this is a positive thing for me because on New Year's Eve, I received a brand new shipment from Snapcrate. I'm like, what the what? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get in my dummy. No, seriously, you guys, I had no clue I was receiving this shipment and I'm like, whoa, they on a roll. Like they literally sent my shipment for the month of January, like super early. So I'm like, I cannot wait to see exactly which country we're getting snacks from. So you know what? Let's just get right into the video. So oh my God, my mouth is already salivating. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's just get right into the unboxing and see what fantastic goodies we received and from what country, because y'all know I love the Snack Crate sh monthly shipment. It's so awesome. If you guys are unfamiliar with Snack Crate, pretty much what it is is that you would be receiving, you would, you will be receiving monthly shipments of snack foods catered, not catered, but geared towards different parts of the world. So I'm super ecstatic to see what we got oh, let's be something fun Ooh. what is real <laughs> the birthplace of... okay let me not because you know some people be really religious so let me not but you all know the history of israel oh my god <gasps> Oh, this is awesome. You know, that's one place I would definitely, definitely love to go to is to visit the country Israel. Oh my God. Okay, I, I don't know what to do. Wow, look at the packaging. This is so different. Oh my God, you guys, look how cool that is. I hope it is picking up. Oh my God, you guys, again, once... They, they completely are outdoing themselves in every, they're like upping the bar to their snack foods. <gasps> okay, so we got fun facts over here. You got, what do you call those? I've always forget those little card, scan, scan card, not scan cards, those scan barcode thingies, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So of course, this is what I should be receiving in my shipment. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down, <sighs> you guys. You guys, you guys, oh my God. I know, I get so excited over like junk food, but I'm, I'm always hungry. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my God, oh my goodness. This is cool, I love this, this new packaging. Like this is really awesome, don't get me wrong, I do like the cards, so I can actually put those in like in a folder, somewhere to kind of like start collecting them because again, this is a really great educational tool to for your children to participate in like trying new foods out, learning about the country that they come from. I think that's beyond awesome, but I still like this. This is so awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down and see exactly what goodies we received. Like, oh my God. So, all right, we got this, this silly, f uh, f f what do you call this? falafel flavor wheat snacks. So, you know, I normally don't look at these just because I like to go into these treats and as a unbiased, knowing nothing about them. And, but right here it just says, you know, I'm just going to try from time to time, look at the car. That's what they gave it to us for, right? Anyways, so, hmm, what is this? Israel favors dish in crispy noodle form. Okay, I'm not sure, but oh, okay. Hopefully you guys can see this because, oh my God, my mouth is already watering. Oh, these are small. Okay, hopefully you guys can pick that up. Oh my God, these are so awesome. Whatever it is, I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. You guys. I wish, I wish positive for 2021 because if it's everything is better with the with COVID and everything that's going on, I have to have a guest in my studio so we can try this unboxing together snack crate because I'm telling you, this is no fun until you have like a group of people trying this out together. 
This is the bomb. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to describe to describe the flavor. It does. Um, it has like um wheat thins. That's what it tastes like to me, like wheat thins, but in the consistency of like these little noodle shapes. They're good. I absolutely think they're really tasty. You know what this would taste good on? A salad. Seriously, like a salad <gasps> would be the bomb. Mmm, crunchiness. Mmm. Okay, let's just get it right into the next treat here, you guys. So the next item that I have is um, from the company um, Bomb Bomba. These are pe peanut butter puffs. Ooh, in the packaging. It's so adorable. Look at the little baby there. Okay, let's go ahead and open this sucker up. See, oh, it smells like peanut butter. It smells like Jiffy. Oh my God, you know what it smells like? Also, peanut butter cups. But in a cheese form. This is gonna be interesting, actually. Hmm. Hmm. It's weird. I smell more of the peanut butter than I do of the actual flavor. Like to me, the flavoring of the peanut butter itself tastes a little mild, kind of like bland. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I guess it's kind of hard to bring out the cheesy puff. Well, it's not. Why am I keep saying cheesy? It ain't cheesy. And it's nowhere on here. So it's cheesy, Carlos. I guess, you know what I mean? Old school, I'm trying to think of cheese puffs. Clearly, it's not cheese puffs. Again, this is the reason why I try not to be biased and look at a product and read what this description is. Because then if I am, then I'm going to associate it with another item or another product that we're all familiar with, or at least that I'm familiar with. And you don't want to do that. You want to try new products with an unbiased, open mind to what they are. Does this make sense? I don't know. I mean, they're good. I guess in a way it's kind of good that it's not too peanut buttery because then it probably would be a little bit put off -y. Yeah, but these are not bad. Oh, I'm gonna give these to my daughter. She would love these. Yes. Okay, so let's go into the next product that we have here. These are Bizzell from the same company prior. These are Smokies. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but growing up, I knew a lot of people who would make these little tiny weenie cocktail weenies wrapped around like that Pillsbury dough, you know, let you get out like they open up. I don't know. And maybe it's just me, but these are flavored, flavored wheat snacks with Smokies or Smoky. Okay, now I'm really curious on what these are going to taste like because I've had plenty of these growing up, not these, but you know, like the actual like you get one, say, right? Okay. So those are the insides. There's nothing in the middle. So. Huh. It does have a nice, rich, smoky. Why am I sniffing it? <laughs> a nice, rich, smoky flavor to it. Hmm. I wouldn't consider it like that. I, I don't know. Like. To me, it's, they taste more like a barbecue chip. That's what it really tastes like to me. To me, these taste like more of a barbecue chip, which isn't bad. They're really good. These are something definitely my son and my daughter would absolutely love. So let me not finish all these, even though they are pretty good. So this way they can have some too. I'm all greedy. All right, you guys. So let me go ahead and show you what other items I received in my shipment. Oh my God, there's, there's plenty of stuff. All right. So the next item that we have here is Kilkley cornflakes, uh, milk chocolate coated cornflakes. Oh, that is awesome! I like cornflakes. So now I'm really curious on what these would taste like. I wonder if these will taste like um. Mm. Oh my god, these are really good. I would never have thought of cornflakes. Hopefully, you guys can pick it up. Cornflakes, chocolate covered cornflakes, but these are the bomb. I know I keep referring to words that no longer are used unless you're in my generation. We'd be saying, that's the bomb. <laughs> Anyways, these are so good. Okay, if you guys see these and you like, you know what they taste me? Taste me. They taste like um, chocolate covered pretzels, but more of like in the lighter side and without the sweetness or the saltiness of it, it tastes more of the sweetness. So if you like chocolate covered pretzels, but don't like the salty side of it, these are something that you definitely would like because that's what I get in the sense of the texture and the consistency of it and the flavoring, just without the saltiness of it. It's really good. All right, I put those to the side because clearly I'm getting too carried away here. <laughs> okay, so the next items 
Wait, we got three of whatever these are here. I have no clue what these are, but these packagings are everything. Okay, since they're pretty much the same, I'm not gonna open them all because we got blue raspberry, we got green apple, and then we got tingy, wait, we got tingy tangy fruit chews. It's so it's more of like a mixed one. I like this little crown on top. Let me open this one. And so, so what do we do? Like, okay. See this? Mmm. These are delicious. Mmm. You hear that? Never fails in a video. Never fails. All right. So the ambulance drove by. Had to stop for a moment. You know what these remind me of? These basically taste like a smaller, very small, little mini size of um, Starburst. That's what they really taste like to me. Like a, like all of a sudden, uh, like Pop Rock size of Starburst. That's what they taste like to me. I mean, they don't give the impression of a Star of um, Pop Rocks, but the sizes. Does that make sense? These are really good. So again, I'm not gonna open the other two, just because they're same consistency, just different flavoring. And plus, we got a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so what do we got here? We got, oh my God. I haven't seen chocolate coins in so long. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I'm not gonna eat these because we all know what chocolate coins taste like, but look at the coins. <gasps> that is so cool. Like, look at the design of them. Oh my God, these are awesome. Seriously, these are so cool. I'm loving the box. The it this it just seems I could be wrong. I've never been to Israel as I mentioned, but this seems like just really cool in the sense of like, oh, this is how I would like look for things that would look familiar to me if I were to visit there. That didn't make any sense. Anyways, you guys. So let's go into the next product here. We got I don't know what this is. This looks reminds me of like a Big old Kit Kat. That's what it looks like to me. It's Prezi Zam Big Bite. It's milk. Okay, so it does say right there. It says a milk chocolate bar filled with water. Oh, wafer and hazelnut. Why I say water? I don't know. So basically, that's what it is. It's a huge, huge Kit Kat. Why don't they just say that? <laughs> okay, is that a soccer? Why is there a soccer on there? Is there something I don't know about? about soccer or basketball out there. Oh. Well, this is a Kit Kat, but way better. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> no, this is really cool. Oh my God. You guys, you guys, if you see that anywhere, pick it up. If you love Kit Kats, you will definitely love that. Oh my goodness, that's the bomb. Oh my God, I keep saying that's the bomb. I'm so old. Okay. So next item that we got is Wilkie. This must be a popular brand out there. Okay. If any of you guys are from Israel or have family out there, is this a popular brand out there? And if so, what do you, how's the correct term? How's the correct way of pronouncing it? Sorry, I keep looking at the external monitor. Kilki? Kilki? I'm not sure. But it's a milk truffle. Mm, oh my God. I love me some truffle candies. <gasps> Look at this. Mmm, mmm, little crunchy, damn. It's crunchy. Making a mess everywhere. Mmm, not bad. Really good. It tastes like, it tastes like um, a Butterfinger, but less of the crunch. Does that make sense? Like, you know when you bite into a cr uh, Butterfinger, it has like that really crunchy, taffy texture to it. That's what that tastes like, but more on the creamier side. I don't know if I'm explaining that right to you guys, but that's what it tastes like. All right, so next item that we have here, I don't know what this is, how, chocolate log elite. Okay, it's a mini chocolate log elite. I'm not sure what that implies. All right, oh, it looks like an actual log. That is so weird, okay. Huh. Mm, okay. Mm. Tastes like creamy milk chocolate. Good actually, not bad. Not bad at all actually. Okay, so the next item we have here, I'm just on the row. I'm like, let's just keep going because there's a lot of goodies in here. Again, same brand. This must be a popular brand out there. So Koki Kit, Ko Ko Choki, Choki Kit. 
that may not sound right the way I'm sounding it. So, okay, let me not attempt it. All right, so I don't know if the, okay, this is a milk chocolate bar with milk cream filling. Okay, milk cream filling. I'm trying to think what that sounds like. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to compare to another brand here in the US. All right, it looks like a loaf of bread. Okay, let's see. Hmm. You know what this reminds me of? You know those like candy bars that kids sell to raise money and they're like a dollar and like the big king size, you know, they sell them in every school. This is what it tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like one of like a mint flavor, which isn't bad. It's actually really good because you know, those kids be hooked. Well, not the kids to be selling it. It's usually the parent who goes to school or to their job with that big old white box and selling, try to sell all those candy bars for their kid. That's what it tastes like, so it kind of reminds me of that. And since I haven't been working, no one's been selling those candy bars. It kind of brings a little bit, a little bit of memories. Anyways, so the last few items we have here are these little. I'm not sure what they are. They look like chewies. I'm not gonna open them all. Dang it! Just drop one. I'm so slow. <laughs> so let's just open one because they're all the same. So, oh, these remind me of like real old school like. Lodger, lozengers, not sure how to pronounce them. Like those candies that your grandmother or grandfather had and you're like, it looks like nasty. But now you kind of like those. Well, I do, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that's what it reminds me. You hear my dog? That's what it reminds me. Yeah, sorry, you're taking a nap and here I'm interrupting. All right, but it's a little chewy. Not bad actually. Okay, so we got a few of them. Oh, look at the inside of the box. That is so cool. Okay. I'll tell you, one day I will bring them out so you guys can see them. Okay, this one obviously was the best one to eat last because this one's a little bit more harder to chew down. This is good though. Okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> this is a mess. What do you guys think about this box? This is actually really, really cool. These right here are absolutely my favorite. Super good. Mmm, I got super, super good. This candy is really good, actually, too. Everything I received in my box is super cool. The flavors are great. I hope I gave you some comparison in terms of U.S. or familiar products that maybe you guys would have tasted or have tasted that you guys can compare it to. But even these coins, like, I haven't had a chocolate coin in forever. Memories of a child. Anyways, you guys, if you have received this variation, if you are a subscriber, to this monthly subscription to Snack Crate. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you received this variation. If so, what do you guys think of it? If you haven't, and if you tried any of these, all these, if you a try, if you a try, if you, a try, if you have tried, I knew it was gonna come out eventually. Anyways, if you have tried any of these products, or you have family members who are from Israel, who live there currently, or if you visit there, and you've tried any of these, Leave it a comment below and let me know what you guys think and thoughts are about them. Thank you. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. And go ahead and hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new video, now I'm struggling. Anytime you upload, and you, <laughs> anytime you upload, who knows, maybe you do. Anytime you or myself upload a new video, when you hit that notification, we all know each other's videos. Does it make sense a little bit? I don't know, you guys. I'm a hot mess at times, but I love my specialness. Anyways, until then, make sure you all brush your teeth, wash your kulo, and subscribe to my channel. Brush your teeth. I gotta brush my teeth, y'all. And wash your kulo, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Bye now, take care.